In this video, I'll show you how to upload your Captivate project to a web page. I got some feedback over the last video where I talked about uh, preparing your Adobe Captivate eLearning project for uh, upload to the web, and I didn't show the actual upload to the web. And I apologize for that, but to be clear, I wanted to uh, just focus on the publishing process, how you prepare it uh, for, for the web if you're not intending to use a learning management system and therefore you're going to have e-learning tracking and uh, scoring turned off. And you can watch that video here. I'll put a, uh, a card that will link you to that as well. Uh, if you want to check out that video. The reason I didn't include it is that there, first of all, there are so many different ways that you can access or upload or transfer your files to the web that there is no one solution that fits all scenarios. The solution I've come up with is I've signed up for a very basic uh, web space from uh, GoDaddy and uh, I use FTP software and I'll just simply take you through a, a very quick tutorial on how that works. Um, so I have here, I've published this uh, demo project here that I want to share with my client and uh, the process is very straightforward. I'm going to launch uh, a program that I've used for quite a number of years now called FileZilla. I think it's a play on Godzilla. And uh, very simply put, it's like a file explorer. On the left-hand side of the page are your local files. And on the right-hand side of the page, once you log into your web server, uh, will be where you drag and drop all of your files that are going to become your web page. So I'm going to just log into this particular site here. Uh, FileZilla does require that you type in your password as a security measure each time, which is no problem. Click on OK and you'll, if you've put your credentials in correctly, you'll now start to see files on the right hand side here. Now in the case of a GoDaddy account, I'm looking for a, um, a folder called public underscore HTML. And there is um, some folders that I've created uh, number one, to share my content with, uh, with others. Um, we'll use this demo project here. And uh, I've already uploaded it once, but the process is really straightforward. I select my files, which are located somewhere on your local hard drive. In this case, it's my desktop. And I just drag them right over here and you'll see a progress uh, indicator below indicating uh, how long it's going to take to to upload all that good stuff. So hopefully I didn't drag it into the assets folder there. But either way, it demonstrates exactly how this process works. And once it's uploaded onto the web, you're going to want to use uh, your website slash whatever folder you've uh, placed these in and index.html or in some cases the name of the project.html depending on how you published it and just checking that in a browser to make sure that it all works before you send a hyperlink to your clients or to your stakeholders or who whoever it might be and then you're good to go as you can see here the tran the transfers finished and, uh, and we're good to go. So I can go ahead and share that web address with uh, the subject matter experts and stakeholders that I'm working for. Guys, if you like the videos that I produce for you, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. And if you thought this video was helpful or useful, you can go ahead and give me a thumbs up.